Here's a grasshopper, foam grasshopper. Let's tie this. I like to start with a base of thread here on the whole hook. This is foam. It's going to want to kind of twist on the hook on you. So a base of thread that you can super glue the foam to is a, a good start. Speaking of gluing, you're going to want to glue up the strips of foam. I like to do that usually the night before or something. 3M makes a, a um, spray-on glue you can use. I've never used it, but I've used other types of glue. You don't want to kind of pinch this a little as you go. And then cross over the top. Start your next segment. A little bit of compressing that foam will help. We're just going back, making each different body segment. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. We're going to actually take the hook off of the vise. Before I do that, I'm going to put a half hitch on there just to help lock in that thread in case anything happens while we're tying the back part of it. And you can see how that's rolling. I'm going to take care of that in a few minutes with some super glue. So now at this point, I'm going to take that off the hook. And in this case, I got a long piece of foam. I like to do that because it gives me more to, get to hold on to. If your foam is shorter, you know, like short like this, not going to have as much room, but if you foam is inexpensive, so if you buy your own, if you have a, a supply of it, you just take that and leave the end on there. And I'm just going to freehand this in the back here, pinching that a little bit to, to compress that. I'm going to bring it back forward into those same spots I had before. And then right there, I can bring that back into the vise. And if you look back at the original here, you can see that once you got those body segments in, all your tying is pretty much done right there in that first body segment. So I'm bring that thread back there. Throw one more half hitch here on for a second. Like I mentioned before, sometimes I like to take the super glue. Super glue is great, but it's also your enemy because it gets all over your fingers sometimes. So I put that on there. Now we're going to take some of the deer hair. Cut a little bit of that off, put it in the hair stacker, and I'll pound that on the desk to even out those tips. Now those tips are even on the end. Take that clump of deer hair out, 
and just kind of match it up. You can see there, it goes back to about the bend of the hook. So that's about where I'm gonna, gonna measure that there. Cut off the excess. I'm gonna tie this in, I'm going to do a pass or two around the deer hair only. That will allow it to control it and hold it to the top of the hook instead of running all around the hook trying to roll. And I'm going to take some of my yellow I'm going to trim this piece down a little bit. It's a little wide on me. I love foam because you can just, it's an inexpensive material. You can trim it to size. Put that on there. Next up, I'm going to take some leg material. One on the back side. One on the front side. Now some half hitches to lock in that thread. On this one, you can see that yellow top. It's kind of got a point, so I'm going to come in here, cut that off there. Gives you an uneven or sided point. Trim that off. You can look at the legs. You can see the legs are a little shorter up front, so I'm just going to trim these about here. The tail end. Of course, you don't want to cut off your body segments, bring up the original again. We're just going to cut that right off the back. Grab my other scissors, it's better for this larger, thicker foam that I've got glued together. A little dot for an eye. I like to put a little bit of super glue back on here. You got a lot of thread right there. Just a little drop of super glue doesn't hurt. And that's the grasshopper.